Okay, this is the portable Foropter stand that we've been working on. I'm going to go up close to all the parts that you can see it. It basically consists of about six parts, of which some can be kept together, others cannot. So as we walk up here, you'll see that we have the Foropter on the end of a standard Reliance Foropter arm. This is a regular Reliance Foropter arm that moves up and down. So you can adjust the height. As you can see, the unit is very stable. The reason it's so stable is, as we come down the stand, this is a Reliance pole, a regular Reliance stand pole that goes inside this 2x2 two two metal square support. And here we have the pin that holds the support in place through a hole that's in the pole, goes through the entire pole and goes through and goes on with a wing nut and tightens it down. The one below it is a safety so that in case you drop this pin out, it goes down and hits the other pin for safety so it doesn't come crashing down. That's a safety pin. And then you can see it has wheels on it right here so that you can just lean it back and roll it like that. Very easy to do. You want to take the foropter off when you do that though. And the key to the whole system is this 35 pound weight. That's what keeps the stability. And it comes right, it goes right over this peg. It comes off on this peg like this. It's very easy to put on, it's pretty easy to carry. Just bring it over, stick it right on here, and you're done. The unit is very stable. It will not come over at all. Let's see if I can get back here. It's and you got a great range. You can always lower the arm down too. You have a great range to move it up and down. You can probably see it on the shadow there too, the movement. So what you can do is you can keep the pole inside the metal 2x2 two two support rack and just haul it that way. It's very light actually with that. Only weighs about 25 pounds. Or you can take the pole out and you can take the foropter arm off the pole if you wanted to to make it even more compact. So basically that's all it is. The wheels make it really nice because if you take off the foropter off the arm you can roll the whole thing with the foropter arm, the pole and the weight right to anywhere you need to roll it to. It's easier to do it without the weight on but it's not too bad to do it with the weight on either. So that's basically all it is. So the Reliance Foropter arm, the pole that goes inside the 2x2 two two metal casing, the pole that holds the, the, the retaining pin that holds the pole into the, into the retaining support, the safety pin for the support, the wheels to wheel it, and the weight that provides all the stability. It's so stable in fact that you could even go out to the side. You could even go out this way to the left and it won't tip over. Although we're going to force you to do it towards the weight side at all times because there's absolutely no way it can go over that way as long as the patient is on the weight side. And there'll be the appropriate labels on there to say patient side, patient side. There's plenty of room out there. You want to know the dimensions. That's 30 inches from the edge of the wheel to the edge of the support. 30 inches wide. And it's 6 feet 4 inches tall when it's assembled. 6 feet 4 inches tall when it's assembled. Again, you could separate it here. Pull this silver pole out from the black casing. This will pull right out if you release the pin and then it would only be about 42 inches high there, 40 inches high there to this point and then you would have the pole height to deal with to store. 
So that's basically it. Let me know what you think. Thank you.